from the home of the A's since 1968. It's baseball at the Oakland Coliseum. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the Seattle Mariners and the Oakland A's. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. First pitch on its way. Line drive snagged on a short hop in the dirt and oh he can't quite dig it out. So chalk that one up as an E6 and you really can't believe it out there. Stepping into the box Coco Sullivan and he's a strong candidate for rookie of the year honors if he can avoid a collapse here in the final months it's been a great first campaign in the big leagues for him so far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Fellas, the Mariners entering play here this afternoon. They did get the win last time out, but it hasn't been the best week for them as they've won just twice in their last six tries. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here. Losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of the series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal the series right here. So here's the cleanup hitter, Chris Davis. Watch is fully in effect these days as he's potentially closing in on a historic triple crown. He leads all three categories and he'll get back in safely. First offering on its way. Pitch inside the throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. That's pretty savvy base running right. A lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row so I think he was going on first movement and it worked out nicely. Hit on the ground to third. Seeger fields it cleanly. And an offline throw, but he just does get back to the bag for the putout. Time now for a glance at Bob Melvin's A's starting lineup. Danny, any thoughts? Well, you better look out for that cleanup spot. He's hitting over 350 versus right-handed pitching on the season. And today, he has another right-hander on the mound. I don't know what it is or how he picks up the ball so well, but he is sure putting up great numbers against them. Hernandez comes set. First pitch on the way. Committed to that one a bit too soon as it locks him up for strike one. Hernandez has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. Matt, every team is looking for a guy like this in a day and eight. Now, meanwhile, this ball's going to get through, and that's a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's a 2 0 ball game. Oh, and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. And it's gone as they add still another. So it's a solo shot to dead center. Number 13 for him on the year. And the A's lead it now three to nothing. In now Coco Sullivan. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And this one is gone. A home run. It's a two run shot to straight away left. Home run number 58 on the year. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Ben Gamble, career against Blake Trinan. He's 0 for 5. Sinker to open the A.B. in there for strike one. Popped him up. Sullivan has room in foul territory. Makes the catch and that's the ball game. And with that win they've joined some elite company. How about 110 wins. Tying them in the record books with the 27 Yankees and the 1909 Pirates. Not bad, huh? 6-0, the final shutout score today. 
The Oakland A's win for a division leading 110th time. Sean Manaya posts his league leading 21st victory as he finishes seven innings allowing only one hit. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com.